I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. We're inside this dome stadium for tonight's matchup between the Boise State Broncos and the Idaho Vandals. We're ready to bring you some exciting football action. And I tell you what, this is a heated in-state rivalry. Here come the Vandals. The Vandals appear to be completely overmatched in this one. What do you think, Kirk? Boise State is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. You're absolutely right. The Broncos will win this football game. All right, you heard it from Lee Corso himself. We'll see how that pick pans out. In the meantime, let's go down to the coin toss. Boise State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. We should have a return on this one. Thomas fields at the goal line. Set up shot at the 22 yard line. First and ten. They come out of the nickel. Rolls to the right. He's on the run. Roberts with a takedown. A five yard quarterback scramble. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 27 yard line. The Vandal come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Shakes off a tackle. And there's a fumble. He's scooped up. They'll bring him down. The offense is lucky to retain possession after that fumble. The coach can't be happy with the way the running back is carrying the football. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. They come out in a nickel. Horton hands it off. No, play fake. Throws this one out to the right. The quarterback had a tough time with a blitz on that one. Well, with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Idaho lines up in a double tight set. Looking. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle of play. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. This quarterback is the leader of this team, but he's going to need some help from his offensive line today as they go up against a very good pass rush. You got that right, Brad. He's the focal point of this offense, and the defensive line knows it. They're going to be coming after him hard today. When you're as good as this kid is at playing quarterback, there's definitely a bullseye painted on your chest. We'll see how he handles the pressure. Excellent field position to start the drive. They line up in an eye. He breaks free. A little shake and bake move. Pitts brings him down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. First and ten. Ball on the 25. The Bronco go with the I formation. Lindsay on the run. Big opening. Carter with a takedown. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. 
the Bronco. Come out in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. Goes to the end zone. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And they'll be returning this one. Hunter fields it at the one. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? As you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooby. You know better than that. <laughs> Single set back to you. Horton drops back to pass. Batted ball. And got it complete. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. And he's brought down. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. It's first and 10, ball on the 22 yard line. Boise State has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Horton on first down. Wants to throw outside. Picked off in the end zone. So the defense makes a great play in the end zone and comes away with a pick. And that, my friends, is how you play defense. You make the quarterback think he's got six, then you step in front of the ball and just take it away from him. They'll go to work at the 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Bronco line up with three wide. Smith drops to throw. Once and all, going deep. And it's the senior. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Smith is back in the gun. Smith to the air on first down. Throws this one out to the right. The pass falls incomplete. Clark, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49. Boise State lines up in a shotgun set. Smith back to throw. Looks. Throws it to the outside. Got it to him on the run. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Lindsay is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Smith on the option. So they pick up three on the option keeper. Second and seven coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. They come out with three wide receivers. Smith set to go to the air. Here's the long ball, left side. Hauls it in for the touchdown. The wideout made a great catch for the score. Actually, I'm even more impressed with the throw. He hung in there and delivered a beautiful ball. And 
and he hits the PAT. Over two minutes remaining in the first quarter. The score is Boise State 14, Idaho nothing. Boise State is ready to kick it away. Thomas and Hunter back ready to return. Kicks it off. Thomas fields it at the two. Defense won the last battle as they were able to pick the ball off. Who's going to win this time? It's first and ten. Ball on the 18. Idaho goes with the ace set here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down a couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and seven. Ball on their own 21. Horton has four receivers lined up here. Drop back to pass. It's tipped. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 21. The Vandal come out showing three wide. Wants to get it out on the screen. And they got him for a loss. And they failed to convert for the first down. Well, the offense hates to see that. The defense again, Coach, stepping up. The defense is important. It wins football games for you. Idaho ready to punt this one away. He gets it away. Tompkins fields it at the 50. He spins. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. We'll see what happens on this possession. They'll get the ball here at the 48-yard line. Boise State sets up in the eye. With the spin. Here he goes. Makes a move. McDonald brings him down. What an athlete. Does this guy have some wheels or what? He's the fastest player on the football field right now. You can't name another guy out there who can beat this kid in a race. Mm. I would say one of those corners, but I don't think they could keep up with him either. First and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29. The Bronco go with the eye formation. Inside handoff. Juku, and he's tackled. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Five-yard gain on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 24. They line up in an eye. A little juke, and he is drilled. He just went right through it. Who's supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Boise State comes to the line with three wide. Here's an option, right side. He lateral. Got an opening. And he's taken down. They do manage a few yards, but they'll still be faced with a fourth down. Wow. I'm not sure about that play call there, Brad. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Boise State, 14. Idaho, nothing. for the field goal. He gets it up. And it's good. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Thomas fields it in the end zone. He tries to spin. 
So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Idaho comes out with three receivers bunt. He lobs it out to the right, and it's caught. He jukes it, and he's tackled. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Horton is in the zone and looking to make a play. Steps up in the pocket. Incomplete pass. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 33. Idaho lines up in a shotgun set. Horton drops back. He steps up, down the middle. Got it to him, on the run. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result was a first down. First and 10. Ball on their own 45. Horton with three wide receivers. Horton crosses to the left side. Here's an opening. Everson with a takedown. A big game for the halfback. You know, when we talked to the coach yesterday, he said they were going to run it over, up, and around this defense. Well, here they got a nice gain on the old toss play. It's first and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Four wide. Johnson brings him down. No gain on the play. So it's second and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Idaho lines up with three receivers. There's a play fake. Steps up. Lee comes away with a sack. Chalk up a sack for the linebacker. They sent the senior on the blitz, and it really paid off for him. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the 45-yard line. Idaho comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. Got it. Burton with a takedown. They pick up nice yardage there on the pass. Single set backfield. Burton with a nice play fake. Throws. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. They'll set up shot at the 29. Ace backfield. Smith on first down. Looking. Throws down the middle. Complete. What a catch. Wow, nice catch. Way to look at it. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. They come out with three wide receivers. Lindsay takes a handoff. Brought down. An eight-yard gain. Gain of eight on the play. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 38. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. Smith, back to pass. He's looking. Throws it out there. 
Touchdown, Boise State. And he makes his second visit to the end zone for that catch. Well, that was a great catch by the receiver. He ran a perfect route to get open for his second score of the game. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Boise State 24, Idaho nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Thomas fields it in the end zone. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. They'll take, They'll take over, over at the 20. First and 10. Boise State has all their DBs in for this five wide set. They'll throw on first down. Looks. And they got him. Idaho calls a timeout. Right. Second and long, ball on the 14. Right. Single set back to you. Steps up in the pocket. He goes downtown. Someone got a hand on it. Picked off. That interception couldn't have come at a worse time for the offense. Man, you said it. It's only the first half, and we're talking about this team being out of the football game. Uh-uh. Uh, to get back in the game, they need to start making some defensive stops and put some points on the board. They'll go to work at the 34. First and 10. They line up in an eye. Lindsay on the inside handoff gets past the tackler. Burrell brings him down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 31. The Bronco line up in an eye formation. Lindsay will run it again. Breaks one. Fox with a takedown. Six yard pickup. Third, Third and one, one coming up on this play. Ball on the 25-yard line. High formation here. They'll try to get the first on the ground. And he's taken down. And the halfback runs for the first. The reason that play was successful is simple. They got a good push up front. All the back had to do was run past that little yellow line right there. They line up in an eye. Play action. Deep pass down the left side. He caught it for the touchdown. This one has gotten out of hand. Usually we don't see games get real ugly until the second half when the talent of the depth chart starts to show. But man, we're still here in the first half and it's already looking like a blowout. And he hits the PAT. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Boise State 31, Idaho nothing. Boise State to kick. Thomas and Hunter back deep to return. He kicks it. Fields it in the end zone. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll, They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. First and ten. One man backfield. There's a play fake. He's rolling right. Someone got a hand on it. 
Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Idaho goes with the ace set here. Looking across the middle. And he's tackled. Idaho takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 30. Idaho comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. It's tipped. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Idaho lines up in a double tight set. Setting up the play action. There's a missed tackle. And they hit him in the backfield. Boise State calls a timeout. situation here on third and long and this is the fifth play of the current drive Idaho comes out with three receivers bunch he's in trouble and he's going to come up with a sack he's done it we have a new NCAA career sack leader to get to the quarterback this many times is simply amazing you need to block this guy with your best line and chip him with the tight end or even have a fullback stay in to take out his legs. And you know what happens next? Your quarterback goes down with a sack. Nobody, nobody can stop this kid. We wish him congratulations on the record. They line up to punt this one away. Punts the ball away. Tompkins fields it at the 48. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 37. They line up in the shotgun. Smith on first down. Deep pass down the right side. Brings it in, touchdown. This one has gotten out of hand. Usually we don't see games get real ugly until the second half, when the talent of the depth chart starts to show. Man, we're still here in the first half, and it's already looking like a blowout. And he tacks on the extra point. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Boise State, 38, Idaho, nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Thomas fields it in the end zone. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. They line up with trips to the right. Here's a pitch left side. They'll drop him for a loss. After one half of play, this one is not even close. Our score, Boise State, 38, Idaho, nothing. Idaho got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Here's the kick. Lindsay takes it at the 16. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Bronco go with the eye formation. They go with the run. He's got an opening. Tries to juke. He's hit and got away. Brought down. 
And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First it's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Boise State comes out with an eye formation. Lindsay will run it again. And they make the stop. And we got an injured player on the field. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 45. The Broncos line up in an I formation. Inside handoff. And down he goes. Three yard gain by the running back. Three yard gain on the play. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 42. High formation here. Lays it on him, and the tailback picks up the first down. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Boise State sets up in the eye. Nice play fake. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Way to look it in. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. Smith is back in the gun. Smith drops back on first down. Looks. Here he goes. Spins up field. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Tackle. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure is coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They put everyone up on the line. Smith on the option left side. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They'll lose yardage on that quarterback keeper. Good penetration by this defensive unit. Getting into the backfield and breaking up that play. Smith with three wide receivers. Smith running the option. Touchdown, Boise State. The quarterback winds up scoring the touchdown. And he got the best of that defense that time, didn't he? He looks great under that football. And he hits the PAT. But here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it deep. Thomas fields it in the end zone. He should have downed it there. He was looking for the big play. He wanted to take that one all the way back. Little did he know, taking a knee would have been a better decision. In the beginning of the game, we talked about how this defensive line would be a factor. But what we didn't know is that it would rattle this quarterback so much. He's going to have to calm down out there in the second half. His team relies on him too much. He's the impact player of this offense. And for him to be playing this poorly is very surprising. It's also the big reason why they're losing right now. He better snap out of it before it's too late. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the Holding offense. Apple distance for the spot of the foul. Still first down.
First and long. Ball on the seven. They line up with trips to the right. Horton hands off to the left. He's got an opening. At the 30, Battle brings him down. And they come up huge on that play. Oh, he sure did. He's a tough guy and always seems to have a little extra when he needs it. First and ten, ball on the 35. Three, Idaho one. comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Horton drops the throw, throws down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Second and ten, ball on the 35-yard line. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. They'll drop him for a loss. Two-yard loss. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on their own 33. They'll work from the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looking, rolls right, throws it deep downfield. In and out of his hand. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. The quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. Looks like they're going to put it away here. He gets it away. Tompkins fields it at the 34. He jukes. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. They'll get the ball here at the 49. First and 10. Boise State goes with the ace set here. Smith drops back to pass. Chucks it deep down the right side. Incomplete. In second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. Smith comes to the line with three wide. He's looking. Wants to go long and does. It's a tip drill. And he's taken down. That was a beautiful pass play. And you can see why they like running this play. They have the potential to break one every single time they run it. We take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters yeah. the most. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Hot. He drops back. Looks, rolling out to the right side. Picked off in the end zone. I thought that was going to be a touchdown. Yeah, and a quarterback did too. The problem was he didn't see the kid covering his guy. And now he's got to go back and talk to the old ball coach and explain, yo, what happened? Let me tell you what, that is not a fun thing to do. After he's done yelling at you, learn real quick not to make another throw like that. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. They go with a pitch to the right. He spins around, and he's stopped behind the line. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Second and 13, ball on the one-yard line. I doubt they'd put the ball in the air in this situation. Safety! Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter, and our score, Boise State 47, Idaho nothing. They're lined up for the free kick following that safety. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. 
They'll go to work at the 49-yard line. Boise State lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Looking. Let's it go. And got him. And he's taken down. It's another 100-yard receiving performance out there by one solid player. So what else is doing? This guy is capable of doing this game in and game out. He's that good. Heading to the fourth quarter. This one is well in hand. With the score, Boise State 47, Idaho nothing. Hey. Boise State lines up for the shotgun set. To the end zone! He came down with it. Touchdown. And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, Coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need to double team him. And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Thomas fields it in the end zone. And now the offense makes its way onto the field. And here's hoping that this time the drive goes forward, not backwards. Right. They'll the set up shot at the 15. At the 15-yard line. First and 10. Yeah. Idaho comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Roberts with a takedown. Hunter no gain. No gain on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. I wouldn't try anything tricky on defense. This quarterback's looking to make a play. Big opening! And he's taken down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Vandal come out in a bunch formation. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Across the middle. He's got it. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. Horton has five receivers lined up here. He's going right. Hill picks it off. Spin move. He might have a chance to the 20. Takes off a tackle. Touchdown, Boise State. What is going on here, guys? We've just been outplayed and outcoached out there. Today. Anything and everything has gone wrong today, Kirk. There's not much else you can do except pack it up and try again next week. And he hits the PAT. So with less than four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Boise State, 61. Idaho, nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it. 
Thomas fields it in the end zone. This defense did a nice job last time around forcing the interception. And now you'll find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football or they let her rip? They'll, They'll start this drive at the 16-yard line. First and 10. Higgins with four wide receivers. Here comes the pressure. Bath comes away with a sack. How about that blitz, guys? Well, this is the play they like to call sometimes in this situation. The corner blitz. Here the offense didn't do a very good job of picking it up. Yeah, you're right, coach. It's hard to tell sometimes where that pressure is coming from. The Vandal come out in the ace formation. Drop back to pass. And this one's going to get intercepted. Touchdown, Boise State. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Boise State 68, Idaho nothing. West is lined up to kick this one off. He hits a booming kick. Thomas fields it in the end zone. Broke away from one. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You get excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. Idaho goes with the ace set here. Higgins steps back to pass. Here they come. Bass comes away with a sack. The cornerback came out of nowhere. Where's the hot read? You gotta have a hot read when the corner is coming on a blitz. Coach, I don't even think the quarterback knew he was blitzing. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 10. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. Higgins set to go to the air. He's looking down the middle, and it's incomplete. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on their own 10. The Vandal with four receivers under pressure, and they get the sack. He may have been seriously injured on that play. Oliver now at a defensive back. Four and long. Ball on the two yard line. Not a good spot to have to punt from either. Punts the ball away. Tompkins takes it at the 43. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. First and 10. Ball on the 27 yard line. First and 10. They come out with three wide receivers. Loud right. Hot. They'll throw on first down. This one's thrown deep over the middle. Knocked out of bounds. And the tight end couldn't manage to stay in bounds that time. Yep, the tight end caught the ball, but not before he stepped out of bounds. Good call there by the refs. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 27. Boise State lines up with three receivers. Smith, back to pass. Looks, he rolls left. Wants to throw outside. Got it to his receiver. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Boise State comes out in the shotgun. Smith drops the throw, looking. He decides to run with it. 
It's been one touchdown after another all game long. And I'm going to tell you what, Kirk, this has been a dominating effort. These guys came to play today, and they have played almost the perfect game. Well, no question, Coach. Everything just fell into place out there, and nothing was going to stop these guys from getting the ball into the end zone many, many times. And he hits the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. West, ready to kick. Kicks it deep. Thomas fields it in the end zone. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. First and 10. Ball of the 20. The Vandal come out in the ace formation. Play action. He rolls out to the right. He's looking. He's looking down the middle. Complete. Got some open field. At the 40. Across midfield. At the 40. And he's brought down. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Oh, well, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. It's first and 10. Ball on the 27. The Vandals line up with three receivers bunched. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He's under pressure. Oliver comes away with a sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 38. And the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch. Higgins caught it to the left side. Price tackles him for a loss on the play. They'll drop him for a short loss there. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the 39-yard line. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. Higgins, back to throw. Rolls to the right. He might not be able to get the pass off. Boise State takes a timeout. Loss of four on the play. Fourth and long. Ball on the 43-yard line. Idaho lining up the punt. Number 89. He gets it off. Tompkins takes it at the 14. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll get the ball here at the 17. At the 17 yard line. First and 10. Smith with three wide receivers. Smith drops back to pass. Looking. He's rolling left. He passes it. At the 30. And he makes the catch. How do you like that play, coach? Wow. That's 200 yards receiving for the day. Not too shabby at all. Boise State lines up in a shotgun set. He's rolling right. Wants to throw outside. Hauls it in for the touchdown. As if the first two weren't enough, he just put up number three on this defense. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Boise State is ready to kick it away. Thomas and Hunter set to return. Kick 
Sydney. Thomas fields it in the end zone. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. Well, Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. The Vandal come out in the ace formation. He drops back. He stepped up. He's looking. Everson comes away with a sack. Well, this blowout will only add more fuel to the fire in this rivalry, and they're going to have to wait till next year's meeting to settle their differences. Any final thoughts, gentlemen? Boise State is one happy group of guys right now. Nothing is more gratifying than embarrassing the team you love to beat in front of millions of people, and they did it. <laughs> For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.